Thank you, Mr. President. This month, I had the privilege of attending the Australia-India Women in Business Opportunities and Challenges during COVID-19, an online webinar organized by the Australia-India Business Council, AIBC. It was great to join Her Excellency Linda Riso, the Governor of Victoria, and Minister Jala Pulford, along with other dignitaries. AIBC is a non-government business council and a peak body in Australia devoted solely to promoting, developing, and maintaining bilateral trade and business relations relationships between Australia and India. The online event that I attended formally marked the launch of AIBC's Women in Business Victoria chapter. Under normal circumstances, it is tough for women to run their businesses, but it is even more challenging for them during the COVID-19 pandemic. In the coming future, continued collaboration and engagement will be critical in addressing the current situation and negative effects of the pandemic on businesses, not only for women entrepreneurs, but for entire business communities across both countries. I think Victoria is the key to building a strong relationship between Australia and India, as Victoria is home to the largest Indian population in Australia. In 2018, we developed Victoria's India strategy for developing our relationship with India over the next 10 years. Both our countries share a long history, but I feel that has not yet resulted in a strong bilateral trade and business relationship. My best wishes to AIBC to forge this bilateral relationship.